So I want to get this on video so I have a memory of this. Um, I actually, um, I went into a congregation last night and um, they all prayed for me. So I think it's the Holy Spirit, but I'm feeling really comforted and um, something happened last night and I, I, I didn't expect it at all. I was like, he, I, I heard people online saying, your dad, your dad is probably going to visit you. And I didn't believe it. I was like, he's not going to visit me. He's not going to say hi. But last night, um, I know I was dreaming, but, um, it felt so real. Um, and it was my dad and he was dressed in robes and he had a headpiece on and I, I'm pretty sure it was his glorified body and and he put he didn't he didn't say anything it was like 15 seconds or something but I was like daddy daddy you're alive I knew they lied I knew they lied you're alive and he put his hand on his chart, his his chest like, oh, like that. And then he did the most Joe McGraw thing, and it was beautiful. He was like, like this, and then he pulled out a a whole a whole bunch of red roses. And then I woke up. I woke up. <laughs> and. It gave me so much comfort that my dad did that because he showed me that he really loves me and that he's home and he's okay. So I truly believe my dad is so is okay. It was so it was so him. It was so him and it was so beautiful. I know I've said shit in the past about him, I know. He knows I didn't mean it. He knows I was angry. Because I was. Because he left me because of my mom. <laughs> but now he knows the truth about her. So. Praise Jesus. But. It was so beautiful. It was so wonderful. <laughs> and. I woke up and I just started crying, but it wasn't, it was like, it wasn't a cry of like sorrow, it was like a cry of like hope and gratefulness, but yet mourning at the same time, like I miss you dad, but I know he's there. Eight. Red roses. <laughs> means love and passion it also um is uh, uh, red roses means sacrifice red roses um they have a lot of significant meaning and it's just like my dad to do something like that because you know he always he always like even though there was problems because of my mom when she wasn't in the picture he always did that stuff like that and did like little surprises to me just to see my face lighten up i really miss him and i'm really sorry for all the things i said in the end Because I was just angry that he left me and I needed him. I, I just want to tell everyone just today, just call your parents and tell them how much you love them and give them hugs and kisses because you need to because you don't know how much longer you have them. But he did see me last night. It wasn't, it wasn't a goodbye, it was more like a see you soon. 
I know what to see you soon. And I've talked to a lot of family members uh, last night. And this, this morning I talked to one of my aunts. Um, I have, I got a, I got a call, another one of my aunts. But I was looking at, my, my aunt was showing me pictures, we were on FaceTime, and she was showing pictures of my grandma, she's like, oh my god, you look like Ruth, you look like her so much, and I, I was like, oh my god, I do look like my grandma, like, I just, I have the same cheeks, and lips and I'll post a picture of uh, my cousin Stephanie's wedding and you can see me next to my dad he's the tallest one in the group and you see William and Zachary when they're little babies when that happened um, and you can also see that my family is very native uh, in that picture. Some of you have seen it already. Uh, I've gotten to see little pictures of my dad when he was a little boy. He was so cute. But yeah, I've been, I've been talking to a lot of family. I talked to my cousin Kelly and, um, Oh my god, we were in Boulder the same time. We could have met up and hang out with each other. She was like, oh my god, I can't believe. Like, and I found out that she went back to school and she is now a therapist. And she's like, you can do that too, Shani. Just do it. Just do it. And I'm thinking, I'm going to go back to school and finish my my psychology degree because I think it'd be something you know to focus on you know what I mean because I, I really need something to like give me a sense of hope you know what I mean but uh Yeah, she graduated at 50 and got her psychology degree and, and now she's working as a drug counselor, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you. It's, it's like, if you've never lost a parent before, it's like, like crying spells go on and off and you're like angry for no reason. It's like, it's nuts. It's nuts. And, but I know I feel comfort now because my dad visited me that he's okay and I'm going to see him again. I'm going to see him again. I also found some really dark things about my mom that I'm not going to say in public. But they're lost. They're, 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 uh, they're, they're so dark. But at least my dad doesn't have to be hurt by her anymore. He's with the Lord and his mom and dad and his brothers and his sister, my siblings, man, I can't wait to go to heaven and, and see my dad again with my whole family. I can't wait to see everyone again. The blessed hope, you know what I mean? But I know he's okay. I know he's okay. <laughs> My
my borderline is a piece of shit. I'll say that when I get when I feel like I'm being rejected and abandoned. I I say some really fucking shitty things. I'll admit that. And I'm really sorry I act like that and I reacted that way. Because it wasn't right of me. But at the same time, I was just trying to express the pain I was feeling and the loss I was feeling. So I have to give myself some grace there. But if you can in your life, Love your parents as much as you can, as long as you can. It was really sad seeing my Aunt Sandy break down though, she's 86 years old. And to see a woman that's 86 break down. It was the saddest thing. And we cried together and she doesn't live that far from me. So I'm gonna be going and um, visiting her soon. Uh, there's a lot of people actually that I'm gonna be visiting soon. A lot of family, extended family, but they're still family and they they treated me better than my my immediate family. So it was like, a breath of fresh air to know that I'm I'm still loved. You know, we were talking about when I was a baby. And and how they took care of me and watched me and how much they loved me. They all were saying how much they loved me. Cause they knew me as a child and I was such a sweet little girl. I, I became the tough bitch I am. I wasn't born a tough bitch. I became a tough bitch in order to survive. You know, but deep down, the real Shanny, that little girl Shanny, is just a little girl that just wants love and to give love and to be loved. You know, that's who I truly am, is someone who wants to be loved but incredibly hurt from being abandoned and ignored and isolated. No. And that's why you see me lash out. because I'm hurting but I gotta learn how to not do that and I will I'm sure when I get back to therapy because I have to go to therapy again I'm gonna I'm gonna look into getting some grieving therapy You know, try to get that out of me, that, that anger. But also at the same time, I have to give myself grace because I was hurt and it would be me invalidating myself. If I, I said, I, it, it's not like, it's not meant to be, you know, I, I have a right to be angry and my feelings are my feelings, and I realize that. But it's how I react to those feelings is what I need to fix about myself personally. And I've tried over the years little by little and I've gotten so much better than I used to be. But it's there every once in a while it comes out, you know? Thank you guys.
Thank you guys. But yeah, I'm going to go to th grief therapy and, and help have a professional help me sort it out. But I, I do feel because of that dream last night of my dad, I got closure with him. You know, he's not mad at me. He's not upset with me. He just loves me and he, he, wants, he wants to see me again. The look on his face when he looked at me, it was just love and joy and happiness and he was he was in his glorified body he was so handsome and he was wearing these robes the lord has taken good care of him for me <laughs> thank you michelle so yeah i documented that I just want it in my memories, you know, because it's important. Anyway, guys, peace and Maranatha. I love you.